This is a quick recap for the music comedy anime, your boy Kongmin. Watch out for spoilers ahead. It's the year 234, near the end of the Three Kingdoms period. Kongmin is struck down by illness and lies in his deathbed. In his final moments, he has a dying wish to be reborn in a peaceful world without war. The next moment, he awakes as a younger version of himself in modern day Shibuya. Confused by his surroundings, Kong Ming wanders into a nearby bar where he witnesses a young singer, Eko Sukumi, perform. He is then moved by her singing. The next day, Echo finds Kong Ming has passed out on the street and takes him to her home, Whoa, where she teaches him the basics about modern day Japan. Kong Ming is then convinced that he was revived in modern day Japan for a reason. With Echo's help, Kong Ming is able to secure a job as a bartender at Echo's nightclub, the BB Lounge, thanks to her boss being a Three Kingdoms enthusiast. After their shift ends, Echo reveals that she had once considered committing the unthinkable, but hearing someone sing has given her the motivation to keep living to become a singer who could inspire others as well. However, she has so far failed every audition she's applied for and is now thinking of quitting. Upon hearing this, Kao Ming then offers his services as a master tactician to help Echo achieve her dream. While thinking about Kao Ming's offer, Echo reveals her desire to perform at major music festivals in Japan and around the world, but she doesn't have the fame or follower account to do so. Kong Ming then arranges for both of them to attend a performance by the famous singer Mia Iriomote to see if there is anything they can learn from her. In order to judge her character, Kong Ming meets Mia backstage, where she offers to get Echo a performance at a larger club. However, Kong Ming quickly realizes that Echo is scheduled to perform at the same time as Mia, but in opposing rooms, meaning Mia intends to exploit Echo's low fame to claim the entire audience that night. On the night of the performance, Kong Ming arranges Echo's stage area in a way to confuse the audience so they can't easily find the exit. Recreating his famous Stone Sentinel maze strategy, he then draws in an audience from Mia's area with a promise of drinks. And while being unable to leave, and having the opportunity to hear Echo sing, the crowd begins to build up at Echo's stage. The performance ends up being a huge success for Echo as she gains over 1,000 followers. Meanwhile, a furious Mia orders her manager to keep tabs on Echo. In order to capitalize on Echo's successful performance, Kong Ming manages to convince a local music festival to host her. However, since Echo is still an amateur, she is given a small stage and scheduled to perform at the same time as the main event, Jet Jacket. At the festival, Kong Ming tricks Jet Jacket into thinking Echo's sound equipment has broken down, luring them into a false sense of security. He then employs one of his 36 strategies, create something from nothing. He reveals that he had extensively studied Jet Jacket and knows their lead singer has a sensitive throat. And with a big concert the next day, he won't sing his signature song for the festival. Kong Ming brilliantly feigned weakness so Jet Jacket would lower their guard, allowing Echo to make an explosive opening to her performance to steal the crowd's attention. Jet Jacket then confronts Kong Ming about his underhanded tactics, but he manages to appease them by providing them a concoction that can treat sore throats. Kong Ming is happy in that the successful performance at the festival has improved Echo's self-confidence, as well as draw the attention of a major music producer. Echo and Kong Ming are approached by Siyoshi Kondo, one of the world's most influential music festival organizers. Impressed by Echo's potential, he offers her one of two options. Either take a spot at a local music festival with an expected attendance of 10,000 people, or take a spot at the major music festival, Summer Sonya, with an expected attendance of 300,000 people. However, in order to qualify for a spot at Summer Sonya, Echo must first take part in the 100,000 likes project, where she must obtain 100,000 likes on her social media page before the festival. Arranges for a rap battle to take place at the BB Lounge. Meanwhile, a young prodigy rapper named Kabitai Jin tries to go about his day. Having vowed to quit rapping after collapsing in the middle of a rap battle due to a stress induced stomach ulcer. However, he is continually pursued by his rival, who presses him for a rematch after being defeated by him in a previous battle. Kabitai Jin then does his best to avoid Sekitoba, revealing that while he desired to be a rapper, 
as he started winning more rap battles. More and more pressure mounted him to stay on the top until the stress became too much for him to bear. While heading to the laundromat, Kabutai Jin encounters Kong Ming, who captivates him with a rap of his own and challenges him to a rap battle at the BB Lounge. If old man Kong Ming wins, Kabutai Jin must join his band, while if Kabutai Jin wins, Kong Ming will grant one wish for him. Intrigued by Kong Ming's challenge, Kabutai Jin decides to head for the BB Lounge where Kong Ming is waiting for him. Kabutai Jin observes a rap battle at the BB Lounge and considers leaving until he hears Echo sing a song that reminds him of the first time he discovered rap, where he overcame his social anxiety by joining a small rapping group. Over time, Kabutai Jin grew more skilled as rapping came more natural to him, culminating in him becoming a championship rapper. Kong Ming then appears on stage and catches Kabutai Jin trying to leave, and once again he issues him a challenge. He is then provoked into accepting and the two get into a heated rap battle, where, by happenstance, Sekitoba comes to witness. During the battle, Kabutai Jin's passion for rap is revived, and he uses his skills to completely overwhelm Kong Ming, who eventually admits defeat. Sekitoba then leaves satisfied to finally see his rival return to rapping. Afterwards, Kong Ming asks Kabutai Jin about his wish, but he replies that his wish of coming back to rap has already been granted. However, he decides to join Kong Ming's band anyways. Unbeknownst to everyone, Kong Ming had manipulated the entire situation. He used a spy to figure out Kabi Taijin's favorite song and he also snuck stomach medicine into Kabi Taijin's drink. He then recites one of his strategies, where the best way to get the enemy to move to you is to entice them with something beneficial to 